Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you today about wisdom. I've been teaching on Sunday nights through the book of Proverbs, and we've made it all the way up to chapter 8. Chapter 8, the 8th proverb, talks about the excellence of wisdom. Now, a lot of people have knowledge. I'm not talking just about knowledge. I'm talking about specifically the knowledge of the wisdom of God's will. That is, what are we supposed to be doing or not doing? And exactly how does he want us to live? And he says something that is very intriguing to me in this, in this proverb. If you want to read it, read the entire eighth proverb in your Bible and you'll see what I mean. Do you ever raise kids? And uh, if you ever raise kids or taught children, you would completely understand what I'm going to say. Sometimes children do not listen to their parents or teachers. You're in shock. You just can't believe it that there's young people that wouldn't listen. Have you ever said to your child, for example, hey, listen to me, I'm talking to you. Or when I'm talking to you, I want you to look at me. Stop looking around. Pay attention. Well, God sometimes has that same feeling and he expresses it the very same way. And I want you to hear it. I'm just going to read part of the proverb. It says, hear instruction, <laughs> means listen, be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoever finds me, God is speaking, whoever finds God finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul. All those who hate me love death. Just recently, I, uh, we produced one of these little video clips, and I was talking about the culture of death that surrounds us, and uh, this reveals to me, and if you're listening, you would understand, it reveals that the reason people are so much into death is because they really hate God, or don't know Him, and have chosen to just do whatever they want to do without even thinking about God and what he would have them to do. And when people just do whatever they want to do, guess who gets hurt? Have you ever had somebody say to you, well, it's okay if I do it as long as I don't hurt anyone else. You know, as long as I don't hurt anyone. And I always say, you don't understand, you're hurting yourself. <laughs> you went, Whenever you disobey God and you just do whatever you want to do, the one who loses is you in addition to many the people that are around you. What God intends for you and for me is to know Him, to have a relationship with Him which is based on trust, and to have that relationship based upon understanding that what God desires for you and for me is good. It's always good. It's never for evil. And if we'll listen to Him and apply the teaching that he gives to us, this is where it is. It's in the Bible. It's in the Word of God, the Bible. And if you listen to God and apply the truth that we find in the Bible to our life, you and I will find that we have life, a better quality of it, and we will have love, unconditional love, and we'll have opportunities to experience God working in our life. If you really want to have a wonderful life and want to have eternal life, you need to put your trust in God and love Him and not just love doing whatever you want to do. Because if you're honest, you and I know, just doing whatever I want to do or you want to do, it's destructive to ourselves. Okay? I'm telling you because I love you and I care about you. Have a great day. Bye.